decent volume. Um, hopefully this works. If this is working, uh, let me know. Now I'm going to go for real. All right, this should be, I, I'm supposedly broadcasting on 1080 now, or at least close to it. Um, so that should be a lot more visible. Can you guys actually like read what the hell is going on on the screen now? I'm looking at the stream. I can read it. I think it should work. How's that? That work? All right. Okay. So uh, what's going on? Wingspan here. I'm on the test server and I'm messing around with Tech Three cruisers, strategic cruisers, because CCP uh, has seeded and it's kind of seeded them. I don't know if all the someone's telling me all the subsystems are not available here. But they're in the fitting manager, and I want to try the new strategic cruisers. Um, just give it a shot, see like you know what kind of what kind of stupid fittings I can get on these things, and see what's going on. So if you're not aware, strategic cruisers are getting a huge, huge balance pass, big, bigly. And the thing that's going on is um, a lot, really. First of all cutting down the number of subsystems, cutting down the options in the subsystems, so there's going to be way fewer options than before, um, but they want to kind of group together some options that people didn't use a lot, um, you know, do things like, uh, you know, simplify some of the engineering options, simplify some of the propulsion options, just make it so there's fewer options, but they're more viable. Then there's some other changes that are happening to support, and of course, to covert ops, and that's the big one. Yes, this is on CC. This is on CC. Um, hold on a second. Am I in? Uh, yep. Nope. Yep. Broadcast fleet. Sorry. Okay. So this is on CC here, and I was just throwing some stupid fits together. So let me let me let me show you some. I'm gonna go on Tengu. I'm gonna go on the Tengu just because I'm I'm just more comfortable uh, with the Tengu in general. So it's easier for me to talk about it here. And as we uh, as we go into it, um, we can switch to other ships. Okay, so the main thing you got to know now is that with the new um, Tech 3 cruisers, with the new strategic cruisers, there's going to be um, four types of subsystem, and you, you will get a refund, supposedly, uh, of, the, of the fifth type. Okay, so there's still propulsion, defense, offense, and then there's core. Um, so core is like they took the other ones and kind of mixed them together because it's boring. And in each one of the, the options, there's gonna in each subsystem there's gonna be three options. Okay, so let me just talk you through what this basically is. So, for instance, and can everyone see this over here? All right, let me just make this window just a little. Okay, that didn't actually do anything. Okay, all right. Um, so there's like for instance, there's this one. This is gonna give you as as core, right? This is going to give you capacitor bonus. It's going to give you electronic warfare, EWAR, um, not EWAR, sorry, energy warfare resistance, so resistance to being nuded and NOS. That's huge. Okay, this is going to give you the same bonus as like a cap battery uh, at max level. Then you're going to get 20% bonus to power output. That's not per level because they don't want to make it like if you lose skill points um, that you're just going to dive down in there. Yeah, big time. Big changes here. And of course the slot differences and some capacitor capacity. Okay, then they got one um, that's going to give you more CPU. Okay, no surprises there. More lock targets. Better sensor strength so you lock things faster and farther. Oh no, one of my fish just jumped out of my tank. Oh god, hold on, hold on. Wow, he looks like he's a little freaked out. He's a, it's a black skirt tetra. Had him a long time. He, uh, wow, yeah, I feel really bad. Wow, okay. Oh, man, he's just, like, looks stunned. Uh, he's never, I mean, I've had that fish for, like, I want to say five years now. And, uh, okay, wow, all right. So <laughs> let's get back to this. Um, yeah, the fish didn't like the new changes. The fish was opposed to the electronic efficiency gate, okay? Um... And then you've got obfuscation manifold, which is, oh, this one's a fun one. This is a fun one. Okay, so check this out. So you have the power and capacitor one, then you have the locking and CPU one, and then this is the EWAR one. And it's going to give you fucking ECM jammer bonuses and a bonus to overheating the ECM and a bonus to heat for everything on your goddamn ship. Oh, and by the way, by the way, I forgot to... Uh, 
forgot to, um, oh geez, where is the, you know, once I realized that none of my um, hotkeys work on this correctly, market, okay, there's no market, great, got it. Um, what I was going to put here is Kaldari, strategic, I'll just put strategic cruiser in here. Strategic, oh, I can't even search this shit? Do I got to... I gotta do the stupid people and places item lookup. How the hell do I do this? I never actually look up items other than through the market. This is garbage. Okay. Okay, I know. I know. I know. Okay, so here's the thing, all right? Tengu. So one thing I wanna talk about before I get into all this. So now when you're looking at the Kaldari strategic cruiser bonus, right? So you still got the heat damage uh, t removal, the heat damage um, reduction, okay, and a bonus to Nanite repair pay speed, but look at this, 99% reduction in scan probe launcher, and rigs may be removed from the ship without being destroyed. That's a big deal, okay? So two big things here. One is that no matter what you fit, no matter what you fit, you're going to get the probe launcher bonus, which means you can put an expanded probe launcher on any version a strategic cruisers. Just I believe the Tech Three destroyers also have a similar bonus. Um, I don't remember exactly the exact percentage or anything like that. And then the rigs can be swapped without being destroyed. That's big too. That's big too. You can remove the rigs without destroying them, which is crazy. That's awesome. Um, and I think this nanite repair paste uh, bonus is new. I know that the heat reduction was there before, but now not only can you overheat, right? But you can also repair faster. And as we were just saying before with some of these bonuses, that you've got things like this on the ECM that reduces the amount of heat damage you take. So you could really, really, really with good skill spec for insane heat reduction. You could have like massive heat reduction. And then if you're toggling, if you have good module management, which, which I certainly don't, um, if you have good module management, you can repair while the other things are, you know, while you're kind of like working different modules and stuff like that. So that's nuts. You go overheat 24-7. You should always be doing that on T3. Anyway, probably, but now you can do it even better. You can push the envelope farther. And we've got 31 people on stream, which is fucking fantastic because I love number 31. Okay. <clears throat> So let's get back to some of these subsystems. I'm just going to drop some in as I go along. Like it's it's not. Um, I'm not trying to build anything good here, but uh, okay. Plus three ones, and, and you'll see. Like you could build some real stupid um, setups here. So I'm going to drop this one in. Okay, here we go. Two, two mids, two lows. Okay, now this is big. This is really big. The next thing I'm going to show you. So before you obviously had defensive, where it's like, okay, this one gives you more shield booster and more overheating shield booster. Okay, very cool. So this is the active. Every T3 is going to have an active subsystem. Okay, active defensive subsystem. Then you're going to get this one, which is the passive one, supplemental screening in this case, shield. Okay, so more shield hit points. And then overheating bonus again for shield hardeners. Very cool, right? Okay, it's going to increase your SIG radius. Now, this is fucking huge. So covert reconfiguration has been moved to defensive subsystem. So you're like, wait, what? I don't like that. I don't want to get a tank. What are you talking about, Wink? So the thing with this is, before it was offense. It was offensive covert reconfiguration. So if you want to build a covert ops tech three cruiser, you have to choose offensive, okay? You use it for offense, and then it would be locked into one stupid offensive thing, like for, you know, you get like a, a really crappy uh, damage boost or something to one weapon type. And then th that's it. That's what you would get stuck on. Oh, oh someone is posting to the corp then. Um, don't post anything sensitive to corp, guys. Um, all right. So, but now, now that's defensive, yes, you lose a little bit of tank, okay? But that means that you can put any offensive weapon system with any Tech 3 cruiser. So before, okay, let's say if you're using a Proteus, right, and you made it covert ops, it only got a damage boost to like the hybrid, so you had to pretty much just do blasters. You had to do blasters on your Proteus. But now, on a Proteus, you could drop covert ops uh, into the defensive, and then you can make it blasters, or you can make it rails, or you can make it drones, drones and rails, whatever the fuck you want, which is crazy. And what this means is, yes, this is what this means, is that you're gonna, this is, this is huge. This is huge uh, as the CEO of the largest covert ops Corporation Eve Online, this is big. I just want to check the chat for a second because I missed some of this. People are talking about my poor fish. He's doing okay. Guys, he's doing okay. Um, that's never happened before. So people are saying, 
Um, are there memes allowed here? Yes, memes are allowed. Um, okay, people like the rigs thing. I'm doing the simulation. Where's the sensor strength bonus? Sensor strength bonus was in the electronic efficiency gate, I believe. Um, oh, oh, sensor strength. No, um, I don't think that's in there at all. I don't think you get one. Covert Ops T3 are going to be less tanky. Yes, they're going to be way less tanky. Now, you'll see here in the bonuses is that you still get the probe. So they still scan great, which is good, and combat probes, okay? And uh, tractor beams, nobody cares. Um, and then you get a shield booster effectiveness. So you get 37.5% bonus to active, active reps. So that's big, too. Active reps, this is a big deal. So if you're going covert ops, your options are to essentially not have a tank and be like super glass cannon or make an active tank. But you're not going to be able to like brick tank it, you know, get 100, 200,000 each P or anything like that. You're going to be active tank or you're not going to be tanked. Still got the cloaking device stuff going on. Still got uh, hacking going on. Um, blah, 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 sinos, covert sinos, short reactivation delay, okay? Um, so let me just drop this in here for you to give you a sense of that, okay? So here we go, covert ops. So that's defensive. So again, offensive, you're going to have um, one that's on CPU uh, and uh, locking, I believe. One that's, uh, no, hold on, what was it again? This one is cap warfare, okay? Cap warfare and power, that's right and then sensors and CPU, and then EWAR. And each ship, as one of its core, is going to have an EWAR option, which is big too. Which also means, that's right, that's right, kids, you can make a Covert Ops T3 that also gets fucking bonus to ECM. <laughs> that also does insane damage. All right, so now we go to offense, right? So there's every T3 is going to have, again, three offense. There's going to be primary racial weapon system, secondary racial weapon system, and the third which is support. Okay, so if you look at this one, X accelerated ejection bay, this is the missile one. You got the kinetic missile bonus, you've got the bonus to rate of fire for every type of cruiser missile, heavy assault, heavy rapid launch. Now I know people are crying about this, but you gotta keep in mind, if you go look at like what the bonus is on the Loki, it's not getting two of these bonuses. It's only getting one. So I think you should consider this to be the missile bonus, and this is like a bonus bonus. As we all know with resist, like, you know, this is great and all 25% bonus to kinetic, but if they have a 90% kinetic resistance, it's just better to switch to another missile. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, I I've done that in bombers. You've seen in my videos, I used off-racial bombers uh, torpedoes, and that's a much bigger bonus, so it certainly works. Uh, do we still have interdiction nullifier? Yes, we do. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. Um, are they final numbers? They're not final, but knowing Fozzie, they're final. So <laughs> they're really close to final. If you've been following these changes, um, they made a semi-public record of what's been going on. Now, he's, pushed, he's had these numbers out here. People have been looking at them, um, focus group people, CSM people, all that. There's already been some tweaks. There's been some things they overlooked or that the teams overlooked that they're trying to fix. So I would say they're probably like 90% final. There's definitely some stuff that can change still. Um, yeah. So for instance, all right, so let me just let me just get, get talk about some of these weapon systems for a second. So you got hams, heavies, rapid lights. Um, then you got, okay, here you go, 10% bonus to missile velocity. And this is going to be a f basically a 50% range increase for all these missiles, which is huge for hams especially. But obviously rapid lights, you can shoot them out super far and heavy super far. Okay. Then you got here, boom, 25% reduction of fitting costs for those missile launchers. So they fit easier. And then look at this shit, seven high slots and six launchers. So let me just drop this in and try not to crap your pants. All right, boom, look at this, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Eight high slots, buddies. So that's six launchers, eight high slots. That's six fucking missile launchers and expanded probe launcher and a covert ops cloaking device. Think about that for a second. Just think about that. Think that that's insane. That's insane. That's as far as when you're thinking about cloaky hunting and ganking. Uh, and I'm, ta I'm talking about like, I'm not talking about um, HK, all right? It's totally separate. Um, and that might be in danger, Jeopardy, certainly. Um, but just thinking about like what Wingspan does, what a lot of people do, especially in wormhole space, you're just kind of like diving around and you just nab one or two people um, somewhere. Uh, it, this, is, this is big. This is really big. This is, everything's coming up Wingspan, um, which is just absolutely crazy. 
Um, this might be worth the SP loss. Yeah, hey, Squiz, Squiz Caffeinator on stream, um, a Wingspan member, and of course, the creator of Z Killboard. So, hey, Squiz, thanks for stopping by. 43 people watching. Um, by the way, I have, the, I have literally the worst red wine I've ever had in my life here. Uh, it's pretty terrible. Uh, it may actually be cooking wine. Mm. Called like Shrewsbury or something. It's from Pennsylvania, some cheap wine. I'm, it's really bad. I don't, I'm just drinking it because I opened it. So, oh god. Okay, so let's go to um, let's look at these other ones. So then you got Magnetic Infusion Basin. By the way, can I just say that these names are garbage? Like they're okay, some of them. But like, if someone's like relatively new to the game and looked at this, they'd be like, a Magnetic Infusion Basin. What the fuck? Oh, it shoots hybrid guns. Like that's it. Like why can't it be like Magnetic? you know, hybrid booster, I don't know, something, anything that would give you a clue what the hell it does looking at it, okay? I can't even imagine what a nightmare it is to translate to other languages. Um, yeah, alright, people are here talking about skill point loss, and that still exists. Hello, Ivan, hello, hello, hello. Um, yeah, the names are bad. Okay, so this is the hybrid one. This is for, like, rails, but of course you could still, I guess, use blasters on it. I don't know, it's not, whatever. But yeah, you still got the 5% damage, you got a range damage and range bonus that's not nearly as large, but you know if you want to slip around, shoot people rails. But the, here, this is the cool. This is what I'm saying. This is the cool thing. In the previous version, if you went covert ops, if you went covert ops, you had to use missiles. You, that's it. It's your only option. Now, if you go covert ops, you can go covert ops with rails, and you get all this other cool stuff with it. And then the last offense, so again, like I said, primary, secondary, and then support. And now this is the third option for offense, all right? Support. So what you're getting here is command burst bonuses. So you got command burst bonuses. You got lo logistics bonuses, bonuses for, you know, remote shield booster uh, in this case, all right? Then you got a bonus for overheating, logi, okay? Great. Then you got... Fitting, uh, command boost, shield boost, all that stuff, command burst, sorry, okay? And you got fucking crazy bonus to fall off, 500% basically, all right? And then a 50% bonus to command burst area effect. You can only fit one command burst module, and you still get four launchers. So, again, eight highs. Um, just think about this, all right? This means you can get cloaky support, logistics, boost, heals, whatever, Still have a little bit of damage if you want in there. Throwing some festival launchers. I don't know. Just horror on stuff. Um, but that that's nuts. It's absolutely nuts. It's really crazy. I like it. So I and and it's got ingredients to moisturize. And it's got ingredients to moisturize. So yeah, cloaky logi is gonna be big. And I believe I'm not sure if it's final, but I believe now that the Tengu has. Um, let me see if it's on here. Is it on here? Car cargo capacity. I know there's no cargo capacity. Deal with. I believe someone said that they're now getting a, a bay for holding subsystems. Like they're going to have a, an additional cargo bay. Um, I don't know if it's going to show it. No, it doesn't show it in here. Oh, that's right, because I'm not an actual fucking ship. Cargo bay, drones, can't. All right, it's not showing it here. Someone told me that there's now a subsystem bay. I don't know if that's true or if it's final. Um, but if it's true, that's nuts. That's nuts. You can bring the. You can just switch to Logi in in 20, 30 seconds, and now you're a covert ops Logi or covert ops boost. Like, come on. There's no reason not to bring the boost. All right. Okay. So that there. That's just fantastic. All right. So let's look at the propulsion. You got chassis optimization, which is. Uh, you know, just straight up normal. You got agility here, 7.5% bonus to agility. Now, I don't believe, I don't, this isn't working correctly. I'm not sure if it's working. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, it is working. All right, so 10, 10%, 11, 11 second align time without it, and 7% align, 8, 8 second align time with it. Okay, very cool. Uh, Vex here. Malik's here. Everybody's here. Hello, everybody. Hello. Now I'm not doing. I'm not doing the. My my home. My house is a mess. I don't like to do the video stream thing. It's just like we. You know, I didn't shave. I didn't shave. People make fun of my mustache. Or whatever. There's no point to it. Anyway, um, <laughs> what are people saying here? Cloaky Lodge is gonna be interesting. Real question is, how's the EHP? Okay, we'll look at that. I am gonna show you some fits, and I'm gonna toy with some fits um, live on here. By the way, if anyone's in Corp. Um, I'm in the broadcast channel, so if you want to jump in, you can just keep in mind, live streaming. 
So obviously here, this is warp velocity acceleration. So this is great for hunting, warping super fast, 50% warp speed bonus, and then the alignment and one plus one here. Then you got fuel catalyst, all right? So before, just like before, it gives you an afterburner speed bonus, which is I believe what it did before, but now it also gives you a bonus to overheating afterburners or micro warp drives, which is nuts. Again, always overheat, never not overheat, okay? Um, and then here, interdiction nullifier still exists. Interdiction nullifier still exists. Um, and they took that stupid warp one that no one wants to put it in here, um, which I think this is new, right? The reduction in capacitor need when maybe, no, 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 that was there before. Anyway, interdiction nullification still, it cuts your max targeting range, it makes you bigger, it lowers your inertia, and it gives you one lower, okay? So it's real, uh, it's sincere, it's 3 a.m. Um, in Malik's time zone. Ooh, all right. So let me just drop a propulsion on here. Let's say chassis optimization for the hell of it. All right. Now, um, I got some fits. So I want to show you some here. And we'll look at what I got. All right. So here's the one I was toying with. And let me just get some charges in here. Um, hold on a second. We'll drop the uh, scourge. Where's the rage? Scourge rage hams in here. Okay, boom. Okay, so, and there's no reason not to overheat, right, kids? No reason not to always overheat. Always overheat. Okay. Um, and let's just change this to shield boost rate. Okay, so let's look at this shit for a second. I want you to just think about this for a second. All right, so yes, it's down to like 32. And, and by the way, some of the things are not working correctly in the simulator. I've, I've, some of the things, some of the stats and bonuses aren't working, so it's very possible that the actual numbers will be better in some instances because the, I, I forget which bonuses, but there are some which I looked at, I could tell they weren't working. Anyway, the, now you're in, you know, in this case here, okay, I got two of these Caldari uh, adaptives, and I know this, I, this is a fit I threw together in like two minutes here, okay, so cut me a break if you don't like it. All right, got capacitor control, rigor cows, loading accelerator, and you see it's got unfit instead of destroy now, okay? But look at this shit. So you've got a thousand DPS, a thousand DPS overheated. And this isn't like torpedo a thousand DPS. This is with hams. This is with, um, you know, actually trying to apply things at close range with the rigor catalyst and webbing things down. Okay. A thousand DPS sustained on this stuff because of the overheating bonuses. Okay. Yes, this is a little blingy. Uh, oh, you know, it's not even that blingy. Here we go. Let's, uh, let me, uh, hold on, let me uh, get rid of this thing and then we'll just copy this. Here we go. 998. 998. I like it. And this is with no implants, guys. This is with absolutely no implants. So you put a rate of fire um, implant on there. You put a um, damage implant on there. You put some shield boosting. Shield boosting, I don't know. I just dropped this thing on here. Uh, but it's cap stable. It's cap stable. X type. Large shield booster. I'm sure you could put together a better tank than this, guys. I put on a Thucker large cap battery because I love these things. But I'm sure you could put it together a bigger, better tank. But the point is, um, and I don't know, this this number, keep in mind that in-game, it doesn't account for your resist. So it's 164 a second, right? But if you have a 90, per, like if you're getting hit with thermal, it's 10 times that. So it would be like, you know, 1,600. It would be 1,600 a second on thermal, or like 15 or 1400 a second on these and maybe like 1200 a second on this cap stable all right so there you go so um again not this isn't crazy this i mean <laughs> i just want to say that this is nuts when you consider for instance right now all right i have a similarly built tengu i've used my videos and whatever um using hams close range you know put on a cap battery all that kind of crap right and it's got 600 dps hot 600 so this is like 40 percent more damage 40 percent that's nuts absolutely nuts and what's crazy is of course you could do stupid things with it let me um let me so again this is hams you can put rapidly you know let me just throw rapid lights i just want to see what rapid lights look like in here i'm just gonna throw them in here do, do, do. i know rapid lights are getting nerfed i believe soon to have less rate of fire which is not the nerf they should get but Rapid, oh, oops, hold on. Rapid light, missile launchers, doo, doo, doo. and of course, don't forget your expanded probe launcher, kids. Okay, and uh, let's look at this stuff. 
We'll throw in some Scourge Fury Light Missiles. Okay. So now with Rapid Light Missiles, hold on, hold your horses, kids. 800, 900, D oh, you know, I might have to take this. Not <laughs> so instead of 1,000 DPS, 900 DPS with Rapid Lights, out to 30 km. Out to 30 km, 900 DPS. Wow. Absolutely brutal. Absolutely brutal! That's br that's that. Dude, I want you to think about this. A polarized stealth bomber, like the craziest polarized stealth bomber you get. Maybe you're gonna break, you know, a thousand, eleven hundred DPS or something like that. But it's with torpedoes. They can't apply to anything. If you're shooting, if you're shooting like a a destroyer or even a cruiser, you're losing like half your damage. This is 900 DPS of light missiles. This shit applies. This. This applies like me applying to college and high school and not getting, except th except these will actually get in. These will actually get in to the places they want to go, unlike me. Um, so here we go, here, the, the CCP nerf calibration. Um, maybe, I'm at max calibration, am I over? Oh, I'm over, yep. All right, so this fit doesn't actually work because I did things that are bad. Uh, let me see here, boop. Okay, okay, so I could put a, Whatever that other one is on there, the um, bay bay accelerator thingy, medium bay loading accelerator. Oh, is it not? Is it too big? Oh, it's a 150, isn't it? Uh, but I I might not need this thing. All right, so medium bay loading accelerator one, do do do, and then we'll throw in the capacitor. What the hell did I just remove? God, capacitor control circuit. One. Oh, it still doesn't fit. <gasps> oh no, God! You know what? Just you know what? Just fucking your your cap stable for 11 minutes. Just get Genolutions, guys. Don't be poor. Just get Genolutions. Okay, that's that's the wingspan recipe for you. Get a set of Genos. All right, there you go. Power grid is garbage. True. Chance. Uh, what are you asking me here? I don't know how to unfit all. I didn't actually know how to unfit all. How do? You, where do you unfit all? Where's unfit all? Is that an option? Unfit. Where's their unfit all? I don't know where that is. Okay. Someone has to tell me. I don't know where it goes. Okay. The point is, this does a lot of goddamn damage. This does a lot of damage, and it's covert ops. I want you to think about that. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to save this as some stupid Tengu uh, RLML. Okay. Save. Sure. Okay. Let me go to some other stupid fits. So then I was like, what if... We make a nullified fit. Okay. And this is, again, stupid. It's stupid. I was just playing, I got the calibration wrong here. But the point is, this thing's nullified. I could drop in charges, drop in some more Scourge heavy assault missiles. Again, I, I, I know there's stupid things here, guys. Um, I just throwing it together. But I put, um, did I put the ECM bonus as the core in this one? Yeah, yeah, I did. I put the stupid ECM bonus. So I'm like, whatever. You know what? Fuck it. Just pull these things off and just only put... Just put a whole rack of ECMs. Who cares? Um, but this is just shoot now farther or whatever. Not good, but still 1,000 DPS, okay? Then I was like, oh, what can I do? What if I just do this? What if I just put in a goddamn... <laughs> what if I just... Um, Scourge, Rage, Heavy Assault Missiles. What if I put Polarized Launchers on this thing? Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. Um, put Polarized Launchers on this thing. I'm just going to kill this. Okay, oh, it still doesn't fit even like that, huh? Uh, put the loading, loading big accelerator on here. Okay. That goes over. All right. And here we go, 1,200, it's just stupid, it's just stupid, oh, this is not T2 either, alright, I mean, this is not faint, there we go, 1,200 DPS, not actually that impressive, um, because you gotta throw some stuff, are these are polarized, yeah, 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 so anyway, I thought it was interesting to throw them on here, hit 1,200 DPS, destroy your tank, throw some ECM for no reason, um, but the point is, it's just funny, it's just funny, it's something you couldn't do before, um, Interesting time. Interesting time. So I was trying to play with the other ones now. Now, I will say I've never actually flown a, um, a Legion or a Loki, so I was like, I don't know where to start with this. I was like, oh, let me start with like a Proteus um, and see what go here. Now, one thing I noticed with this is Proteus... Yes, I want to continue. 
Okay, so let's look at what the Proteus has to offer in terms of. So it's going to be slight differences here. Oop. Okay, so you're still going to have these three options. You're going to have this. All right, this is going to give you um, capacitor and power grid. Okay, then you've got the sensor strength and CPU. But then the third one here, instead of, of course, it's not going to be ECM. This is for scram and warp disruptor range. So you got a bonus. 37.5% total bonus to your range on all your warp um, scramblers and uh, disruptors. And then 15% bonus overheal. So that's 75% five, bonus to overheating them. So instead of a 20% range, it's whatever, it's 1.75, 15, blah, blah, blah. it's like a 35% bonus to the range. So on top of getting a 37% bonus to the range, you're going to get 35% on top of that. And I can't do math. So don't ask me to. Um, I can't do math. That's a lie. All right. So you're going to have, let's say you have one of those Dread Garistas things, and then you're going to increase the range by 37.5%. Uh, you're going to go out to 41.25, right, with this bonus. But then let's say you overheat this thing, and now you're going to get um, a 1.2 times the range times, okay, 15.1.75. Uh, Oh God! Nope, that was wrong. Whoa, that was wrong. I did that wrong. 0.2 times clear, clear, all clear, clear. 0.2 times. Oh God, 1.75 equals 35. Okay, so it's 1.35 times 30 times 1.375. This is, you guys. Can you believe you're watching a Twitch stream of someone type? fucking numbers into a microscopic calculator in the corner of the screen. What's wrong with your life? What's wrong with your life that you're watching someone put numbers in a calculator? Okay. 56 km point range. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Um, 56 km point range. Can anyone complain about that? I sure as hell can't. So it almost doubles the point range for uh, your warps, uh, your, your disruptors and your scrams. Almost just shy of doubling it. That's nuts. Absolutely nuts. Yeah, and someone's saying in here, ECM will actually work with polarized stuff. Jamming is a way to tank. That's exactly it. You can load up that polarized um, Tengu. Just just fill up the whole mid slots all with ECM. You're going to get bonus ECM. Throw in fucking one of every racial one. Throw in four, five, four multi-spectrals, whatever you want. Okay, do 1,200 damage. And throw in interdiction nullification. So you'll be interdiction nullified. You'll have four jams, and you do 1,200 DPS. You get the fuck out of there when things go south. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Anyway, so that's this one. Now, again, here, you're looking at Proteus. you got augmented plating. All right. So here you go. You can have um, more hit points. All right. Great. Or you can have blah, 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 better armor rep. Or, again, covert ops. Covert ops. Do more in covert ops. Um, let's see here. So let's say I drop covert ops in here. Okay, wow, one, one, two. Okay, and let's say we drop in. I'm not sure what we want. I mean, if you want to, I want to show you something actually really interesting here. So before, again, like I said, offensive, you got support, right? Support's the same as the other one. So you can make this a logi boat or a boost boat, whatever. But before, you had hybrids, right? Here's your blasters. Do your bla crazy blaster damage. Get better fall off. Get better tracking speed. Okay, that's great, right? You could drop. That's a traditional cloaky Proteus. Crazy blasters, close range. Okay, okay. But now there's this, this, there's this buddy drone synthesis projector and offensive. You could finally use this with covert ops. So now you can drop this thing in. Look at this. It's still giving you all the high slots, but now you can get um, the 10% damage and hit point bonus to drones, just like a Stratios has. Okay, but on top of that, on top of that, you also get hybrid tracking bonus for hybrid guns you get eight seven high slots seven high slots that's a lot of guns five guns okay and then a five percent bonus to drone velocity and tracking speed per level so your drones are going to move 25 percent faster and track 25 percent better and what that means is you can possibly use 
a level up drone to apply damage better. Like maybe before in a Stratios, you'd use dual web and then throw your heavier drones on something. You've got it like pinned down and now you're going to put your geckos on it. But maybe now one web will suffice. Maybe they'll just fucking hit what you need them to hit without this. I know 25% is not huge, but it's something. It's something there. So in a way, you know, you're getting the same damage and hit point bonus as Stratios, but on top of that, you're getting an application bonus and the drones get there faster and they come back faster. So you get the damage out sooner and you GTFO faster when things go wrong. All right, we got some people in chat here. 1,200 DPS GTFO fit, right? Okay. Uh, 100 MN Tengu, Rajengu. Okay, I can't understand what... There's some kind of mathematical equation that's been posted into the chat. Uh, pretty normal. The real question is, is, a, is SB Proteus RIP? Smart Bomb Proteus. That's a good question. I'll look at that in a second. I'll look at that in a second. So, okay, let's, let's look at this. Okay, we'll come back to this thing. Uh, propulsion. Again, you've got the same things here. Uh, warp velocity, acceleration, agility, interdiction, nullification, and bonus to this. I'm pretty sure we would take chassis optimization. And then core. Do we not take a core yet? That's the one we didn't take yet. This is tough. This is tough. It's hard for me to say what we want. We want more power grid, more CPU or the the lock range thing. I have a feeling the power grid is really, you got, see here's a problem, 315 CPU with all these slots is not very good. It's not. Even 390 is not that good. Okay? But, um, yeah, I don't know. To me, to me that seems really low. You're not going to be active tank. I don't believe that this thing's going to have the ability to active tank anyway. I just don't think this, it's going to be there. All right, more mids. Like, let's say you go with electronic efficiency. All right, let's throw this thing in here. Okay, so let's let's play. Let's play here. So let's say we throw some ogres in. I've seen geckos before, but you know what? Like, whatever. Just throw ogres on this buddy. It's got a hundred megabits of bandwidth. Mm. Did that work correctly? Three active. Why did that not work? There we go. There we go. Uh, 348 DPS, drone, damage, amplifier, throw, let's just, we'll just throw slightly, oh, those are pretty blingy, okay, they're pretty expensive, let's just throw tech twos on here, okay, um, so there you go, let's say three of these, that's too much, alright, two of these, 500 DPS, not particularly impressive, I will say that, not super impressive, especially now if you if you consider you want to put a tank on here. If you're gonna put medium armor reps in here, like you're gonna have some real fucking problems um, with your capacitor, uh, with fitting. You're seeing like we're taking major major hits on this stuff, and this is even like oh let me let me drop in like a dual rep and then throw in like a whatever adaptive. Sorry, up 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 energized. Why is it called energized when it doesn't use any capacitor? Can anyone explain this? Can anyone explain this to me? All right, throw this stuff in here. Okay, so what you're looking at is your cap. Okay, this is, and again, I'm not saying like, I don't know if you want to put in damage control or kind of reactive armor hardener. Is that gonna like totally screw? That's not so bad. Okay, does that actually count as, yeah, it counts as on. All right, look at that overheat it okay all right whatever uh, armor pair rate blah 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 96 this is really bad that's pretty bad 96 HP a second even with this armor stuff so even if you got your resist up higher um, whatever okay uh, someone got in. yeah so someone's saying just throw plates I agree I agree just throw plates on this thing See, that's what I'm saying. Like, you're going to have such a problem with the, uh, look at the fitting, though. Look at this, look at the, look at where we're at here. Look, if we throw dual plates on this thing. So now we're at 56,000, uh, 59,000 EHP, blah, 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 500 DPS. Legion is 800, okay, blah, 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 blah. Plate that shit, plate that shit. Okay, I threw plates. Everyone wants plates. There, I put plates. I got more plates than fucking Italian restaurant, okay? Mm. Not that Italian restaurant has that many plates because you tend to have one big plate and then put all your food on it. I probably should have picked 
ethnicity of food where you tend to get like a whole lot of little plates of some kind of dim sum kind of thing. But the analogy is already dead in the water. Sorry guys. Sorry guys, that's all I could do. Um, and you know, I'm gonna put like some stuff on here like, okay, like, oh yeah, we'll throw in a warp scrambler. Okay, sure. Um, we'll throw in a stasis web of fire. Okay. Whatever, we'll throw stasis web of fire in here. Okay. Now we got only one more mid slot. And look, we're we're really we're really low here. So when people are like, okay, well, um, well, we're gonna. I I, I want to just put on the things that like absolutely have to go on here first. And you're gonna see like, all right, like it's pretty tight. Like if if you think you're just fitting like uh, newts on here, any neutralizer. Like if you're like, oh, you yeah, don't let me throw a whole rat. You're not fitting one medium energy neutralizer on this thing. Not like this. Not like this. You could turn off a plate and fit like a couple. If you want to like turn off, if you want to literally turn off your plate, if you want to replace this with something else, which is you're literally losing 20,000 EHP, you could put newts. Uh, then your cap is your cap's gonna get demolished. Everything's gonna get demolished. Anyway, not the worst idea. Um, sig radius. People are talking about sig radius. Yep, sig radius is. Overall, the sig radius on these is higher. Um, have we laughed about the assault subsystem on Legion? We didn't get to Legion yet. So anyway, my point is the fitting is really tough on this thing. Like if you want to throw a full rack of guns up here, you want to throw a full rack of newts, anything like that. I don't know why they gave this thing seven high slots for a drone subsystem. It seems really strange to me. I feel like they should cut one high slot and make it a mid slot instead. Seven seems like total overkill. I mean, you could barely use five on Stratios without running out of fitting space, whether you're trying to put, like, lasers or newts on there or whatever. Um, so in my opinion, this is overkill. They should shift one of these out to a low or a medium because there's no fucking way you're using high, seven high slots on this without running. Anyway, and, uh, you know, I don't have any kind of... I don't have any kind of rigs on here. You're going to throw some, you know, here we go. Armor pumps on Here's 9,000. Here, get a bunch of EHP, guys. Have fun. Happy birthday. Here you go. There you go, 95,000 EHP. You guys happy? Is that good enough for you? Is that good enough for you? I don't know what you, what do you want on this thing. You want another? You want an afterburner? You want a 10 MN on this thing? Why is this like this? Okay, you just throw a goddamn after. No, nope. afterburner is not even gonna fit. Oh my god, afterburner is not gonna fit. That's pretty hilarious. <coughs> it's actually really funny that afterburner won't fit. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it, guys. Afterburner won't fit then, you know, we'll just throw another stasis web of fire here. Like, if I can't go fast, nobody can go fast. Then you're like, what am I going to throw in the high slots? What am I going to throw in I, I don't know if you could still put in uh, one medium. You throw in, let's say you just throw in some really... Nope, not going to fit. It's going to be problematic. Oh, my God, that's terrible. That's really bad. That's really bad. You're not going to fit any of this stuff. Can you fit small newts? You can fit one small newt. That's actually really funny. That's really funny. You could fit one. Okay. You know what you know what we're gonna put in this thing? You know what we're gonna put What? You tell me festival launchers aren't seated on here? Are you serious? You can't put a festival launcher? What the hell did you do, CCP? What did you do? What did you do? There's no festival launchers on the, there's no festival launchers on the test server. What did, how am I supposed to test my fit? What am I supposed to do? Anyway, guys, what I'm recommending is you put one small energy neutralizer, all right? Or put like a, yeah, put a small energy neutralizer. Just throw a really expensive one on there, okay? Okay, just throw like one of those on there and then put four festival launchers and call it a day. How can they not put it? Uh, what are people talking about? Protus is the most ta tanky blockade runner in the game. Bait Sino, I'm hyped. Uh, people are talking, they want to see the Legion. Uh, is there any other ship that gets a 50% micro warp drive overheat bonus? Yes, there is. Tango will be the explorer ship of choice. Damage control instead of one of the energized adaptives. Uh, we could do that. Hold on. So we're going from 95,000 EXP to a damage control to to 93. So you lose 2,000 EHP, and in exchange you get um, nothing. <laughs> In exchange, you get a little bit more shield HP, or you you bait tank them a little bit more when you're in hull. That's it. 
But um, so you're only a five. So I will say that I think that the drone. I wouldn't run the drone DPS on this thing. Let me um, let me actually go back here. And uh, can someone actually help me a little bit? Because um, in the chat, like, what's like the typical like blaster? What, what's like the most typical blaster you throw on these things? Because I honestly um, don't. I haven't flown like a blaster Proteus, like a typical co-op Proteus ever, really. So I don't even know. Like, what would you guys put on this thing normally? Let me pull drone synthesis off here. Throw hybrids. Uh, someone tell me, because I just have no fucking idea. Uh, let's see here, turrets of phase, hybrid, blasters, medium, like, I don't know, you just throw heavy neutrons on here? Is that it? Is that a thing people do? Can someone tell me? Neutrons. Alright, let's go for it. Alright, so let's kill this thing. And look at this, you get fitting problems right away. Fitting problems right away. See, this is going to have to go like that. You can't fit that. That's bad. Oh, well these things don't deserve to be here anymore either. Okay, um, and then you look at charges. What kind of charge do people throw on this thing, typically? Null, null M. Is this it? Throw this in here. I don't care. That's right. Da, 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 da. Oh God, I gotta put the fucking, I gotta put the weapon upgrades. I don't like this. We're into turrets. Da, 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 da. Weapon upgrades. Oh god, throw all this stuff in here. Heat sinks. No, that's not right. No, 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 that's not right. What am I doing here? Here we go. Here we go. Whoops. Okay. Uh, is this looking even? Null is the long range ammo? Is that the wrong one? Okay, I used the wrong ammo. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up, remove charge, remove charge, remove charge. That's what I'm saying. I like literally never fit one of these things. Alright, null is the line, pam, pam, pam. Magnetic field stabilizer, antimatter is the normal, an okay. Okay, sure. So what, throw Kaldari Navy antimatter in here? I don't know. Whoa, okay, made a big difference. Okay, and magnetic field stabilizers, right, I already did that. And uh, whatever, we can throw fancier magnetic field stabilizers in there, I guess. Just to see what it looks like. Let's pull these out for a second and drop in like Kaldari Federation Navy ones. Alright. So here you got uh, 832 FPS, uh, DPS on this thing. Again, I have literally never fit one of these things before, so I, I'm sure it's riddled problems. 61,000 EHP. Um, but the problem is fitting, all right? You can't, there's no more power grid. There's no more. There's really nothing that you can really, you could, you could drop one of these things off, um, sacrifice some tank for some power grid, and then drop in another, uh, drop one of these things off, cut your DPS to 737. Um, where the fuck is CCP? Where the fuck is null? CCP, pretty good DPS for long range. Okay. The range on this one is 20, is 2000. Okay. And someone was asking, can you do a smart bomb Proteus? Uh, let's see here. So let me pull up the, these again. Um, let me just kill... Oh, God. Just kill all this stuff. All right, let's go. Can we do smart bomb Proteus? So we're going to need the power grid one. Is this the power grid one? Yes. So we're going to need power grid. Oh, God. Unfit all this crap. That's going to stay. That's just going to stay. Where's the unfit all? Someone said there's unfit all. Can someone tell me where the hell that is? I literally have no idea where it is. Someone's going to have to tell me. Where is it on this? I've never used it. It actually pisses me off now to know that such a button exists. Okay. I'm going to get rid of all the my jewels. So now the secret for... Um, Smart Bomb Proteus is you really need to have as many highs and lows as possible. So this is one medium, three lows. This doesn't give a lot of lows. Oh, that's oh, you need the Kovops. Yep, we're going to need that. We're going to need Kovops. For offensive, oh, God. Let's see here. Six highs, five turrets. Seven highs, six turrets. This gives more capacitor. This gives shields and armor. Oh, nope, wrong one. Capacitor. 
Drone bandwidth. Oh god, support? Oh god. I don't really know if any of these is any good. Seven highs, seven highs, six highs. Okay, so not the drone one. Between these two, I don't really think it matters. You got capacitor capacity. It's the same. 330 power grid. Okay, this one gives you more power grid. Got it. Okay, so we're going to go with that one. Okay, and then for propulsion, uh, let's see here, two lows, one low. Chassis optimization is looking good, I guess. Okay, there we go. So we're going to go smart bomb. I'm going to go into the fucking crazy large smart bomb. Dark blood, large EMP smart bombs. All right, let's drop these things in here. I'm trying to remember, like, how many do you actually need? in order to make it work. I'm just going to throw in a bunch of... This is way more than you can actually do, um, but hold on a second. And then um, you need engineering equipment, powered reactor control systems. Is that the one? Base boost corp. Yep, that's it. Reactor controls. Okay. Uh, throw in some faction ones here. Here we go. Here we go. Can you... Is it possible? Is it... Can it work? This is way too many smart bombs. Ooh. Oh man, that's pretty rough. That is pretty rough. Near my probe launcher, the circle, oh, unfit all. Oh, I've never seen this. Wow, look at that. Okay, look at that. Okay, someone told me that. Okay, get rid of the tank. So this is this is rough, guys. Um, auxiliary, uh, medium auxiliary. No, that's not the one I'm looking for. Medium auxiliary. There's an ancillary. Uh, ancil. Ancillary current router. Okay. So if I put three of these. I can actually fit one more smart bomb. Or if I kill one of these. Oh, this doesn't fit. Oh, god damn it. All right, so there you go. See, that's a problem. So I can fit one more smart bomb. Okay, let's just pull one more of these. Wow, okay. Kind of pretty tight, kind of pretty tight. So can you still do this fit? The answer is yes, it's gonna cost you. It is gonna cost you. Throw inertia stabs in the lows. Mia Khalifa is streaming right now. Who's that? Is that, is that the is that the porn star? Is that who you're talking about? Someone, someone's saying that they had to leave my stream because Mia Khalifa is live streaming. Is that? I believe that that is a um, an adult film actress. Okay. Um, <laughs> I I'm not hugely familiar with her work, but she's she's certainly talented. All right. All right. What do we got here? Okay. So if you want to. Yeah, and whenever you we were putting one of these things together, it's like it doesn't even really matter where your mid slots are or anything like that. You could put in you could put in Nosferatu in here. You could put in that. There's is a Nos even gonna fit? Medium energy Nosferatu. Oh, it will fit. It doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter what you put in here. You put a neutralizer. Medium energy neutralizer. There you go. Throw this thing in here. And then you're out of CPU. Then you're just done. You're just done. There's nothing that's going to fit on the ship at this point. So you know what you guys need to do? Is you need to get a set of gen illusions, as I said before. And then it really doesn't even matter what you put in these slots. It literally... Well, you can kill... You could pretty much just like, kill one smart bomb and kill one of these things. That's pretty much your best bet. Throw an inertial stabilizer. I believe someone put that, said that before. Whatever. Can we get the align time? Um, can't get it below seven seconds. But you can get it below eight seconds. There you go. And then you got some space. You could throw in like a, a scram and a whatever in here. And there you go. Prop. What I would normally do is I put like a put an afterburner, and then put a a, a scram, 
And then his last thing, I'd actually put one of those stupid ECM burst. What is it called? The thing that just bursts everything around you, that jams everything around you, just as like a GTFO. And there you go. So what this does is 375. Um, damage. So you got four of these pu puppies. So about like you do 1,500 damage a single burst. If you've never flown a ship like this before, you just fly up to like an explorer or something or a pod, and you just literally just decloak and hit all your smart bombs. And then there's nothing they can do. They take 1,500 damage. They don't even know what happened. You can pretty. You can't even. Typically, you can only run these things for like three cycles, two cycles. Like a, your cab lasts 25 seconds, and these things fire off every. Uh, how frequently here? Every six, you can fire them three times and then you're out of cap. Oh, there you go. Maybe four times. And that's it. Boom. Boom. Blow them up. Blow them up. Okay. So what do you guys want to see? You guys want to talk Legion next or Loki next? And by the way, while, while you're deciding in the stream, I just want to pull this up. I want to talk about the Enforcer. Um, so the Enforcer, as we're talking about the future of covert ops, okay, one of that is the Enforcer. This is a Concord ship that's been added to the game. There's been a lot of contention about this, about the way it was handed out. I actually think it's pretty fucking terrible. The CCP gave, like, some people zero. I understand some people got zero, but then some people got one, and then other people got, like, 400 of these things. And when you consider they're worth about a bill each, that's a whole lot of money. That's a whole lot of money. Um... So Enforcer is a Force Recon from Concord. You can put any weapon system on it, any kind of tank. Um, it's got like point range bonus, I believe, something like that. Here you go. It says it right here. You got a, a bonus to um, scram and warp range and, and web of fire range, and it warps really fast. And um, and it's Cobops, okay? And you got a, a rep bonus based on your sex status. But the ship is kind of bad. The ship's not very good. You can't get very good damage out of it. If you look at the bonuses here, it's like, you look at like look at the missile bonus, five percent bonus to rate of fire. There's no damage bonus. You get a flight time bonus. That's it. Every one of these, it's a it's a five percent damage to bonus per level, and then some kind of application or range bonus or something like that. So, basically, the ship doesn't do any damage. Um, unlike most recons, like you think of the other recons, like oh. This recon nudes them out, and this one jams them out, and this one webs them down wherever. Like, it doesn't really, it kind of does some of that stuff, but it's like, why would you bring this ship to fight? Because you want to lose a two billion this ship. So it's really fun. It's really gorgeous. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. The ship is goddamn beautiful. Ooh, I didn't know there was a skin for it. All right. Don't get me wrong. The ship is gorgeous. It really is a pretty pancake. I want this crap in my kitchen. All right. Um, oh wow! Look at that's actually really ugly. Who would do this? Wait, there's an orange one. Oh. Okay, really beautiful. But it's like, there's no point to this ship. As far as like, what are you gonna use this for? Don't quote me on that in the future. Okay, so let's look at the stream here. People want to talk about um, the Legion. The Legion. Okay. Let's pull Legion up. No chance. A certain Irish Wingspan member got the first Enforcer solo kill. Oh, Malik. Yes, congratulations to Malik Saren for getting the first Enforcer kill in Wingspan Delivery Services. Yes, that was awesome, dude. That was awesome. So, yes, the ship has its problems. It, it's fun to fly. It's very fast. It's very, very fast. Um, and you can fit it however you want. Uh, <laughs> you can fit whatever you want. Uh, wow, 56 people watching. I can't believe it. I can't believe 56 people I'm literally dragging down the GDP of the world by hosting this stream. It's actually depressing. Okay. I'm dragging down... Um, my blood alcohol content was dragging down, too. Okay. See, it's really stupid, by the way. These ships are named Legion, anything that comes up here. Okay. Let's look at these. So, again, here you got the same stuff before. You got power grid um, bonus, capacitor bonus, EWAR resistance. And by the way, don't forget this 25% EWAR resistance. Like if you don't need if you don't need either the um, CPU or the power grid and you're not gonna use the EWAR yourself, then keep in mind that if you go CPU you lock things faster, okay? And if you go with this, then you're resistant to energy warfare. So just something to keep in mind. Then you got CPU, okay, CPU, sensor range, uh, sensor strength. Oh, ship sensor strength and scan rate. Someone has asked about that before. There you go. 
If you don't want to get jammed yourself, you get this one, okay? And here we go, NOS and Newt's Energy Parasitic Complex. 50% bonus to, to neutralizer drain amount and NOS drain amount. 50% bonus to overheating. Wow, wow, that's big. Wow, that's huge. Okay, so you can just turn this thing straight up into a curse. Now granted, you gotta keep in mind, you're gonna be using up some of your slots here. Okay, but, 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 I'm gonna show you what the, what the secret is to that in a second. Okay, then you reduce all heat damage uh, by 25% when you use this puppy. Something to keep in mind. Adopt a puppy, rescue this puppy, ladies and gentlemen. Rescue this, why do they call it rescue puppy? I like, I, it's like, they call it rescuing a puppy, but you don't rescue, like, I think it's a rescue if you go into a building and rescue it, all right? When people are like, oh, I was driving down the road, I saw this poor dog dying on the side of the road, and I put it into my pickup truck and brought it home, and now it's better. You rescued that dog, right? You legitimately rescued it. If you go and pick it up at a pound, they rescued it, you adopted it, right? It's a rescue, but you didn't rescue it. It's like, no one, like, picks up a kid and says, I rescued this kid. No, you adopted the kid, all right? Um, unless you're Superman. But Superman doesn't get the legal rights to raise the kid as his own. So that's a whole different issue. Okay. Um, is Rifterlings dead? Two nanos. Panther does 3k in a second. Okay, there's all kinds of stuff going. And they force us slow. Okay. So here's what I was talking about. Neutralizer. So let me just drop this in here. We'll get to this. We'll get back to this in a second. Then we're going to go Kobobs. But again, you got plating. And you got active. Okay? Now, offense. Here's some options here. First up is missiles. That's right, missiles. Now you'll notice 5% missile damage per level and 5% to the rate of fire. Now again, people were crying about the kinetic lock on the Tengu, but look at this. The Tengu has a 7.5% bonus here, and this is 5%. So you're going to get 50% bonus. I'm sorry, 25% bonus to rate of fire on the Legion, but you're gonna get 37.5% bonus on the uh, on the Tengu. And then yes, there's lots of kinetic on the missile damage, but not here. So it's a trade-off, all right? You're gonna do more damage than this ship would do when you're using uh, when you're using kinetic, but you're gonna do um, less damage when you're not using kinetic, but overall higher damage, higher average damage. Okay. Then you got 10% bonus to drone damage and hit points and 50 megabits of drone bandwidth. This is big. So if you go missiles, all right? So if you go missiles, you get a full rack of medium drones and you have an ingredient to moisturize. Again, you get hams, you got rapid lights, any of that stuff. And actually, I'm kind of curious. If I go back and switch this out, um, hold on, let me, let me pull this off for a second. Drop one of these things in, CPU. Let's go with Assault Optimization. Liquid Crystals, uh, this shouldn't surprise anyone. You got a laser bonus here. Medium lasers, medium lasers, medium energy uh, turrets. So you get 50% reduction in cap use, 50% bonus to damage, 50% bonus to range. Okay, you get fitting bonus, blah, blah, blah. It's great, shoots lasers, okay? And then support as the last option. The wine is talking. It is just a little bit. It's um, definitely hampering. Mm my ability to um, eloquently uh, move through this. So then, uh, what's this? Uh, offense, defense, uh, propulsion. Okay, propulsion. So then we have here, interlocated nanofibers. So you'll notice that this one is actually different than we saw on the Tengu and on the um, Proteus. Tengu and Proteus had agility bonus and then warp speed bonus. This is agility bonus and velocity bonus. So that's big, that's big difference get interdiction nullification, but then again, on the Proteus and the Tengu, you had the uh, the one that gave you an afterburner bonus, but then you have wake limiter, okay, here on the Legion, so again, you get afterburner speed, and then a reduction in signature penalty on micro warp drive, so uh, it's a trade-off, it's different, you know, um, I could go either way on this, you want to look at this, one, one low, this thing, all right, so let's say you're going to ham this thing up, Right? Let's say you were gonna you're gonna ha uh, ham this thing up. Heavy assault missile launchers. Let's throw this all the way up. Oh, see the launchers are full. The launchers are full. You don't get as many. Oh, I didn't realize you don't get as many launchers. Well then, that's actually kind of balanced. I guess I should have realized that it would be balanced. 
Oh, plus five launchers. Okay, look at that. So there you go. So you get one fewer launcher uh, than you get. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, let's say you drop some rages on here. 227 DPS. But one thing you can also do is you can come in here uh, and drop in some hammerheads. We go to 50, uh, whatever there. Megabytes per second. We get some ballistic control. Throw a bunch of these in. Okay. So, not as much. What kind of damage are we getting at here? Uh, I don't know if you want to throw in drone damage amplifier. It's kind of weird. Alright, so 617 DPS. Nothing crazy. Um, I guess nothing to write home about, and you're going to give up your whole tank if you do something like this. So that's kind of low damage, I guess. I'm probably doing anything wrong. Um, but, 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 if we go back here, we are talking before, we are talking about what your options are. Let's say you go in and you want to drop the core and put in the parasitic complex, okay? Parasitic complex. Now what you can do is you can throw energy neutralizers in the top that are bonus. You throw in tank at the bottom. I don't know. I'm not too uh, super thrilled with the damage on this thing. Neutralizers, medium energy nudes. Let's throw in a nice one. Let's throw in a nice one. Do you have legion skills? You should have 800 DPS with that fit. Oh! That explains it, right? Simulator. Simulator uses my skills. I have no skills in lasers. So there you go, everyone. That's what's wrong. I have no skills in lasers. And therefore, it's giving terrible DPS. So, <laughs> so someone in, in stream chat is saying, the Vec is saying that normally we'd have 800 DPS without uh, drone damage amplifier. So this should be pushing about 900 DPS. I just have absolutely no... Um, I'm sorry, not laser skills. What is he saying? Do you have legion skills? Oh, legion skills. Sorry, I read it along. Do I have legion skills? I don't have legion skills. Uh, I don't have any of that stuff trained up on my character, so um, I'm not getting a good bonus for any of this crap. Someone said OMG because they realize that I am mildly intoxicated. All right. So if you have good legion skills, uh, you'll actually get the bonuses to this stuff and do more damage. And it's supposedly do 800 to 900 DPS before even dropping the rest of this crap in here. How much does this actually give? 30? That's not worth it. It's like, I don't know if you wanted to put um, armor reps on this thing or I have a pick and slack of it in ship skills and fits if you are curious. Yeah, Vic, if you want to post that in slack, I can show it on stream. I can show that on stream. You want to send it over? Just give me an at mention so I see it coming up. Right, energize, adapted nanomembranes, throw those things on here. I don't know if you want to throw like medium armor reps. Oh man. Oh man. 270.90.3. Uh, oh god. Oh no. What are they saying? They say I got a fat tongue. Okay, what do we got here? Vec, half the bonuses aren't working. Okay, I see. Okay, let me pull this up on the stream. Okay, guys, this is secret wingspan slack into... Oh, shit. Hold on a second. How do I, like, download this image? Is it downloading? Where did it download to? I don't know. I don't know what happened. Okay, hold on. Maybe it went to downloads. That'd be a reasonable thing to assume. Okay, it went to downloads, guys. I got this. Okay, here we go. So, what someone's showing me here, Vec from Wingspan is showing me that in his view, setting up a similar way where he's got one newt, um, the hams, and no GDA, but he's still got the full drones, it does 800 DPS. 800 DPS? Um, Vec, do you know, do you have this with the... Uh, with a boost, is this like a, a bonus newt or is it a normal newt? That's a big deal. And there's no rigs on there, okay? So he's got this uh, tanked up to 74,000 EHP, all right? He's got the plates. Um, he's got one plate. 
He's got his uh, N E uh, God E A N M. There's too many vowels and consonants in there for me to pronounce it. And expanded probe launcher. Good point. They all have expanded probe launcher, and that is with a bonus newt. So this is a this is a bonus neutralizer. So this is doing the work of one and a half newts at one and a half range with an overheat bonus. So you can pretty much this counts as two medium newts. Plus it does 800 DPS. So just think about that for a second. Standard, standard. Um, passive tank, uh, buffer tank, uh, Stratios, right? Standard Stratios does like 500 to 600 DPS, okay? 500 to 600 DPS, it's got two medium newts, maybe three if you're pushing it, okay? But they're not bonus for anything, all right? So this is doing 800 DPS, plus it's got 74,000 EHP compared to like you know, 35 to 50,000 for Stratios. So it's got like maybe double, double the EHP of Stratios with like, I don't know, 20% more damage, about the same amount of newts, right? But a couple other things to keep in mind. It also has combat probes, combat probes, people, all right? Um, and it can, it can move, it can move a decent speed. Now, obviously in mid slots, you lose some utility there. Um, but you're not super vulnerable to getting nuded. You're not vulnerable to getting nuded out, right? This is the only thing that uses. These are the only things that use any energy. You got buffer tank. You've got completely um, capless weapon system, as well as the drones. Okay, drone. Uh, you got 50 megabits a second. You got extra room here for other drones. So if you want to have extra sets of mediums, you want ECM drones, you want lights, throw them in there too. Uh, you could launch one gecko if you really want, if you're just crazy and you want to do that, that's also possible. Uh, when is this update due to go live? Uh, supposedly in July. We'll see. Supposedly. So there you go. So I, honestly, I think this is pretty exciting. This thing, granted it costs a billion-esque, right? But this is competitive. For so long, for so long, basically since Rubicon came out, which is when I started EVE Online, when Rubicon came out, the Stratios dethroned all the other T3s as the de facto like hunting cloaky hunting ship at least as far as like solo and small gang like wormholey kind of cloaky hunting exploration exp ex explorer hunting that kind of thing it just became the status quo like the Stratios is the best because you're doing 600 DPS you've got selectable weapon uh, damage types with drones you've got you know two to three energy neutralizers so you can take out active fits Okay, you've got your choice of shield tank. Um, you can have a shield tank, uh, buffer tank. You can have armor buffer tank, active, um, active armor tank. You can do a hull tank if you really want to. You got five mid slots. You could do uh, dual scram, dual web. You can do cap injection, cap batteries, whatever you want. Okay, you can do short range, long range. You can have sentry drones for bashing of structures and posses or whatever. You have so many options in Stratios. It was so flexible, and it, you have the option of even doing lasers if you want. And you don't need to, you know, worry about ammo or anything like that. So you got drones. You got weapon systems. You never have to reload. Huge, huge deal. Okay. And because of that, it was like, well, like a fly a Proteus that does 800. 50 DPS or something like that. It does 850 DPS at a range of like two kilometers, okay? It, it doesn't have selectable damage type. It has crap range. It's slow. Your tank is like, you have a great tank, but set. All this stuff was just thrown out the window. Stratios became like de facto hunting ship. And now, this is why I titled the stream, right? The future of covert ops, strategic cruisers and the future of covert ops. Now, this is all out the window. This is huge, all right? Things are gonna be different now because now you have the option of doing something like this. You have the option of, of you know, f fucking forgetting all these missile launchers and just going with, you know, the full, go th throw another nude on here, cut your DPS down. Imagine for a second, you have this fit, right? You have this fit and you're like, all right, you know what, screw it. I'm only gonna go four launchers. I'm only gonna go three launchers. I'm just gonna go fucking three launchers, right? Let's say you decide to go three launchers. I have 418 DPS, but remember, I have garbage skills. I have garbage skills, right? So if you're like, okay, um, we're gonna fix that in a second. Don't worry about that. I have garbage skills, but you're looking at 400 DPS. This is really probably closer to 500 DPS, 
when you consider the fact that my skills aren't good in baby 550 and there's no rigs, no implants, nothing like that. What is this thing? Oh, I see. This is the thing that gives you a new bonus, right? Okay, so that's not going to fit. We're just going to forget that that ever happened. What did I do wrong? This stuff was fitting before. Anyway, the point was that if you just add a new energy neutralizer and you cut... Oh, I see. Because of the two plates. Because of two plates. There's, that's also a damage, damage control, too. Okay, throw a damage control in there. DC EHP. There's no whatever. You can throw one of these things on. Can you throw two of them on? You can. Look at this, kids. All right. So now you can have the equivalent of, I want to say, five medium energy neutralizers and 500 DPS. That's fucking crazy. That is crazy. That's nuts. That is nuts. That means you have the, str the, the nuding power of like a curse or two stratioses and the DPS of a stratios. And on top of that, you have more EHP than a Stratios. And again, this is before implants, before my crappy skills on some of this stuff, before rigs and implants, all that stuff. You only have three mid slots, but whatever. You got your tackle, your afterburner, whatever, and you're set. That is crazy. Uh, let's see, what are we saying in, in, on stream here? Have you tried an active build? Uh, I haven't. I don't really know what direction I want to go with that, um, but it's certainly possible. It's possible, um, especially with this subsystem. If you drop the newts, like let's say for instance, um, you don't worry about the newts, because uh, keep in mind that you know the newts use up a lot of energy, uh, even with the bonuses. All right. Hold on a second, and let's say we kill this, the, the parasitic one, and we decide to go with the a capacitor and power yep with this thing instead right and they could be like oh, okay let me um oh god hold on a second Un unload ammo here we go now i can copy it pull the charges back in da -da 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 -da. okay again this is really more like 700 800 dps this is much closer to 800 DPS. <coughs> what was the point of what I was in? Oh, if I get rid of this thing, throw in like medium armor reps. I don't know if people would consider doing um, doing like dual rep, if that's even remotely possible. It feels like, uh, I don't know if that's possible. You could do one ancillary, medium ancillary, ancillary armor rep. Okay, throwing charges there. <coughs> Nanite. Um, go to fits. Uh, I'm sorry, go to rigs. Go to rigs, kill this stuff. Medium rigs. Where's the one that cuts the amount of... Capacitor, is it? No. Nope. Oh, well, we could do that. Do, 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 do. Why is it saying? I see. You could throw in a uh, energy rig, engineering rig, medium, capacitor control circuit. That's not really going to help. Semiconductor memory cell. Yeah, that's not going to work. Anyway, someone says Pilgrim has unique bonus of tracking disruption. Nobody cares about that. Um, in fact, nobody cares about the tracking bonus. I'm not saying nobody cares, but um, for what we do, I don't think we care that much. I'm not saying nobody cares, but I feel like it's not that big of a deal. I don't know why supplemental screening has more low slot to amplification. That's a good question not broken certain things will get all right so anyway i've figured out how i'd want to do capacitor on this as you can see the, the slot layout is really awkward now i feel like i've messed up some of the slot layout like i haven't thought this through um like for instance like oh man oh god what is this to wake limiter oh i'd say we'd lose a low slot yeah i don't really know the best way to handle this I think you could throw in a low slot, a mid slot here, 
then you're going to lose a lot of tank. Right now you're healing about um, four, I want to say four to five times this. So you're healing about 800 if you overheat these. This is before implants. Before implants, this is approximately uh, 12, again I messed up the rigs here. 12 to 1500 HP a second and I have bad skills so my guess is that this setup like this for a minute and a half you you know again I we'd have to change some things this is not sustainable you would heal about 2,000 hit points a second maybe 1800 I'd say 1700 to 2000 hit points a second now you're gonna have some real fucking problems here um, with capacitor like oh I want to throw a cap battery on this thing I don't know Okay, throw one cap battery up, but now you have no mid slot, so that's a problem too. Like, let's say you kill this thing, you just ditch the ancillary, right? And then you're gonna change the uh, change one of the uh, this thing here, Do -do -do. here, wake limiter, eh? Unless you want to change, oh god, this to dissolution sequencer. You know, lose a lot of power grid, but it seems like it's probably worth it. So you kill this, drop in dissolution sequencer. Okay. And now your cap stable. Now your cap stable. You rep in only probably a thousand to twelve hundred hit points a second. Um, again, this thing can go away. You don't need that anymore. You can get more reps, auxiliary nano pumps. Okay. That's over the limit. But you get the idea. You guys get the idea. Then you throw in your probe launcher, covert ops cloaking device up here. Uh, da, 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 da. Throw in your expanded. Can I just remind everyone this is an expanded probe launcher? Expanded. Expanded probe launcher. Sisters. Okay. And you still got room for a new or festival launcher or anything like that. Throw in a warp scrambler down here. Warp scramber. Okay. Here we go. And I don't know, web of fire. Or 10 mn. Here you go. Throw in the afterburner. Whatever. We'll throw in a fancy one. All right. There you go. There. Not bad. So yeah, absolutely not the worst. I think buffer tank needs more mid compared to active tank. Um, okay. People are asking when are the changes going live. We're looking at, I believe, in July. I think we're looking at July. That's originally was projected. I believe it's a July or summer. Um, the the testing this stuff is going on the testing server now so and Fozzy said they want a pretty short testing period and then just roll with the numbers so I'm thinking a week or two yeah I think they could do July possible this is pretty far along pretty close to potentially being done okay so this is a crappy fit but again even with a crappy fit just remember this even with a crappy fit covert ops you're doing like 800 DPS with this thing that is nothing to laugh at and then on top of that you can throw like we talked bonus dudes and things like that okay let's look at the Loki and I'm really gonna need help here because I have no idea what the hell you to do with a Loki ever I've never flown one I've never I haven't looked at one in years um, when I hear the word Loki I think about the, um, the fucking the mask from 1990s Loki was a night god alright um, so let's see here eh, I know some people think the Avengers but I you know raised in the 90s, what can I say? Um, okay, so uh, core, you're looking at the same stuff as before. You're looking at power, CPU, and immobility drivers. You get a 25% bonus to stasis, web of fire range for levels, that's 125% web range. 50% bonus to overheating webs. 5% reduction to all heat modules. Okay, so you can web things down like crazy. On defense, again, you've got adapted defense, which is a dual armor and rep, so you could choose, I mean, sorry, armor or shield. Active fit, um, here you go. Okay, if you're looking for augmented durability, again, it is dual, you choose armor, shield, armor, shield, okay? And then covert ops. So let me drop covert ops again in here. Now look here, launcher efficiency, this thing here for the Loki, you got heavy missiles and hams, heavy hams, rapid lights, missile velocity and application bonus missile explosion velocity that's actually really good especially with the webs especially with the webs 
So you can do a lot of application here. Yes, yeah, so someone's saying 125% range plus 30% overheated. That is correct. That is correct. So you're going to get like two and a half times web range. You're going to be webbing people out to like, uh, well, let's just find out. Let's see if the bonus is working in here. Let's see if the bonus is working. Standard web of fire, which has a range of like, you know, whatever here, 10 km. Now on the ship, it's 10 km. Did I apply this correctly? See, some of the bonuses aren't working correctly. Or, you know what it might be? It might be that I don't have any Loki skills whatsoever. That's probably it, guys. That's it. I figured it out. There's nothing wrong with the test server. It's because I don't have any skills. So because I don't have any Loki skills, this thing's not giving any bonus. But, yeah, ideally what this would be doing is this would be giving 125% bonus. So that's going to be um, 20, 22 km. Jesus, is that right? Oh, my God. Yep. 22... <laughs> Uh, 0.5 km range, okay, and then if you overheat this, it's a 50% bonus, which so on top of 20%, it's a 30% bonus to the range, so 30 times 22 is 6, so it's going to be web people out to 29 km, 29 km with the basic web, so if you have a 13 km web, it's going to be web people out to like 30, uh, 35 km or something like that, okay, absolutely nuts, all right, and then let's see what else we got here on the Legion. Let's see. Okay, so we got assault optimization. This is missiles, missiles and drones. Very similar, very similar. Like I said, application. Um, God, what what did I miss something here? Nope. Okay, missiles and drones. Very similar to what's on... Oh, I am looking at the Legion. That's why I'm like, this looks just like the Legion. Oh, here we go. Launch efficiency. There we go. So just missiles. Okay. And there's still drones. Missiles and drones. But you also get the missile application. Okay. Projectile scoping. Of course, <coughs> projectiles. Uh, guns. You got your artillery. And your auto cannons here. You got 17.5% damage to... 17.5% per level? That seems really high. Um, okay, whatever. I'll take it. 17.5, so that's 1050. Plus an 85, what's that? Is that an 85, 87% bonus to damage? Okay, fine. Again, I have no skills, so whatever I drop in, it's not even going to look impressive. 87% damage to medium turret. Uh, bo bonus damage, 50% to range and fall off. And 37.5% to tracking. Absolutely nuts. Fitting bonus with the highs. And you get 25... For, oh, wow. Actually, that's really good. I'm actually impressed. That's just insanely good. Look at this. And you get light drones. You get light drones on top of that. 17.5... Let me just do the math. Let me do the math. So we're talking here. 5 times 17.5. Boom. 87.5%. Oh, my God. That's really good. Guys, that's really good. That's really good. That's incredibly good. Um, here, we got inner light kit. So here you got agility and velocity, or in addition, nullification, or wake limiter. So let's say you went with this. Okay. Wow. I'm actually just blown away with by how much damage that is. That's a lot of damage. Uh, projectile turrets, auto cannons, medium auto cannons. I don't know. Just throw some big ones on here. Oh God! Here we go. Ooh, polarized. Oh. <laughs> That'd be so stupid. Oh my God! It's absolutely hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. And again, I'm not used to this. Like, what, what is like the normal, if you're going to throw auto cannons? It's like, should you even put auto cannons? It feels like you have this insane web range. It feels like you have insane web range if you're going artillery on this thing. Is that right? Am I wrong? Like, am I wrong here to say that you should go artillery if you're going to be webbing things out to 30 km? Absolutely nuts. All right, hold on a second. Hold on a second. 
on reloading the, the twi I, lo I lost the chat, guys. I lost the chat. It's reloading. Okay. Okay. All right. That's nuts. That's nuts. Absolutely insane. 28. All right. See, I don't have any skills. I don't even. I, I can't even judge this because not only am I bad at ever doing anything with guns, because I literally, I have no gun skills. I have no Loki skills. I have no experience fitting a Loki. So anyway, the point is, this thing has an insane damage bonus, and it's got bonus webs, and you can fit it shield or armor, however you want. Absol absolutely nuts, nuts. It's nuts. That's crazy town. So um, that. I think I think you got the, you got the sense of it. You got the sense of what the hell I'm talking about, guys. You see what I'm talking about? You look at like a Stratios. Like I'm just gonna pull up Stratios on here. I mean, you're looking at like, okay, yep. Yeah, here's here's Stratios's. Uh, I just feel like what's a what's a like a standard Stratios? Oh no, that's not gonna be. This is like a really old fit. Eh, it's not that bad. Standard Stratios, right? Again, you're looking at, okay, this is with 50, this is not the right drones here. Let's say you throw geckos in this thing. Let's say you throw geckos in, just for comparison. Okay. Manage drones. Pull all these things out. Okay. So again, here's like a pretty standard Stratios. You got medium um, newts, you got medium newts, afterburner, whatever, scram, blah, blah, blah. Th this is wrong. That shouldn't be on there. Okay. But look, 43,000 EHP, maybe again with good skills, a little better skills, whatever. You get this up to like 50, 45, you know. Um, you got 500 DPS, 40,000 EHP. Uh, you're warping 3 AU a second, and you got a standard pro launcher. Just again, this is, you're thinking about a paradigm shift here, a paradigm shift where we potentially have options where you're doing a thousand DPS with 70,000 EHP and warping at 6 AU a second with expanded probe launcher. That is a game changer. I'm not saying the Stratios is going away. I'm not saying the Stratios is because you still got cost considerations, all right? This thing costs like half of what it, what we looked at before, and that's with the geckos. So this costs like half of what some of those T3s cost. There's cost, okay? There's the fact that um, you don't lose skill points when it dies, which is big again because that's cost now when you consider skill injection, all right? No SP loss. loss. You got the drones. Um, you still have this, but again, the Legion is treading on the territory. Legion does more damage, or close to more damage, very similar damage, with similar or better nuding. But what does the Legion do that this doesn't? It has expanded probe launcher. Expanded probe launcher, that's big, and it has more EHP. It's a better tank. Catch more people because you have expanded probes. You could, you know, even you just finding things like MTUs out there, just finding little drones people lost or things like that and making extra money, whatever. Um, and yes, the Stratios is easier to skill into. It takes a lot more total SP to be effective um, at a T3 cruiser than it does in Stratios, right? But look at this thing. It's still, this ship is still beautiful. This ship is still absolutely beautiful in wingspan colors. Look, look at this. How can you say that this, thing, this thing's not going to go away, all right? Oh my god. Look at this. Gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, CCPLA2. Sincerely thank you for creating a Wingspan Delivery Services skin in orange gray. And then for um, nerfing strategic cruisers across the board, but making all their covert ops capabilities stronger than before. Um, yeah, that just is going to work out really well for us. So no, no complaints there. Uh, no complaints there with Tech 3 cruisers getting hugely strong in the covert ops area. I mean, again, like if you're thinking about like what does wingspan do? Going on kill boards, right? We got tons of Stratios kills. We've been number one Stratios killing corp um, many, 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 many months. Alright? Uh, stealth bombers, very narrow profile, but very cheap. 
you know, not easy to skill into, but they're cheap and they're fun and whatever, and they're disposable and and they they do a lot of damage. They do a lot of damage, right? But of course, they have a narrow engagement window. Then when you look at a Stero, it's like, well, they do. They have a broader engagement window. They're more survivable. They're faster. They're more fun to fly. But they do very low damage. So they're great against explorers, um, but they can't break tanks and most things. Then you look at Stratios, okay? And this is this thing is like the all-around king. Hold on, let me just pull a fucking ship ship tree. Where the hell is the ship tree in here? Okay, here we go. I keep forgetting that the settings are different on CC. All right? So you're like, okay. These things, this is great for hunting, but you're going to be hunting mainly defenseless things and doing lots of damage in a fleet, okay? Great. That's great. And it's disposable. And you're like, okay, well, I want to do more co-ops. Well, then you're going to move over here and look at recons, okay? You're looking at recons, you're like, wait a second. This thing is not even covert ops. It's great. Don't get me wrong. All of the uh, combat recons are really cool, but they're not covert ops. So they got their own uses, okay? Then you move over here. All these recons do crap damage. They're really useful fleet. Never gonna use it for hunting by yourself. You can, you know, rapier is okay. Arazu, you're not gonna you really use a falcon by itself. It's just uh, boring or as a lead ship. They don't have a. They, and, and can you compare this to Stratios? Keep in mind, Stratios has something that this ship and a bomber don't have, and that's a scan bonus, 37.5% scan strength bonus, which is huge, because it makes it way less tedious, way faster. You want to land on people in one or two passes when they're in some kind of exploration site or something like that, you need that scan bonus. Then you move over to Tech 3s, all right, so you go over to SOE, okay, here's a scan bonus, all right, good damage, good tank, blah, 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 blah. Um, The problem is they're buffing cover gameplay at the expense of everything else. No, they're making solo more accessible in null second wormholes. Okay. They're completely fucking anything that isn't T3 gameplay. Um, covert gameplay. That's. They're definitely taking a hit to non covert stuff, but keep in mind. You know, you look at stuff like hacks, you look at stuff like Tech 1 battleships or other stuff, like there's lots of ships that are hurting because why would you fly, like there's certain ships in this game, it's like why would you fly this ship when you can fly a Tech 3? Like you look at this like, okay, yeah, I could fly this Tengu, I could rat in my Tengu, I could do insane damage with a passive tank, insane, whatever, just awesome fucking insane boosts, like it's so hard to kill. Like, oh, should I go fly one of these ships instead? I don't, I don't know. Not really. Not re lower mass. I mean, Jesus Christ. I'm not saying it's like insanely overpowered, but I mean, you just look at these things. Like, you look at what these ships can do. It's so insane that I'm. It just makes sense. It just makes sense. Like, why would you fly some of these other ships? I'm not saying that. I mean, I've seen all these ships out there. I've seen dummies. All right? I haven't seen a lot of Myrmidons lately, but they're out there, right? But there's certain ships where you're looking at the, like, it costs the same amount of money, and you're like, would the, 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 it's, and it's adaptable. If you don't like it, you just cut pieces off of it, like, whatever, okay? It's just like a, it's like a tree. It's a tree, and you can cut off the branches you don't like, and you can eat the fruit, and the fruit tastes like isk, okay? Um, T3s are nowhere near as bad as hacks. With these changes, they still outclass them. They're getting close. Okay, so hacks are still bad. Hacks are still garbage, but we're closing the gap. T3s are going to cost more. Supposedly, they're going to cost more on top of all this. Um, whatever. I, I'm just, I really think, overall, I understand why the balance patch is happening. I just want to say, my viewpoint of all of this is that, is that cloaky T3s like are no longer like a niche thing anymore. It's not going to be like, oh, I need one. I need a Tango over HK. I need, you know, I need to, you know, like it's going to be like a mainline, like a real thing. Like you're going into wormhole space, like Lokis are going to be decloaking on you. Legions are going to be de decloaking on you. They're going to be doing a thousand DPS at you. They're going to have EWAR bonuses. They're going to be nullified, whatever. And you're just going to take it. You're just going to take it because what are you going to do? It's going to be hilarious. It's going to be absolutely hilarious. As far as like the future of covert ops, like I said, Strat Stratios is not going anywhere. It's cheaper. It's easier to skill into. Um, it looks sexy. It's still flexible. It's got the scan bonus, um, which again, T3s have the scan bonus, but 
you know, Stratios is still there. Astero, again, easy to skill into. Very cheap. Look at this, 200,000. 200,000, okay? Bombers are still fun. They're still easy to get into, okay? Black Ops, uh, well, the Marshall's coming out. <laughs> uh, that hasn't been put in this game yet. Um, Marshall's just going to be kind of lulzy, but whatever. Overall, I'm very excited. I think it's crazy. Anyone have any like questions or anything? Because I'm actually running out of time here. It's like almost midnight at my time. And believe it or not, I can't stay up until like 2 a.m. streaming about uh, cloaky pixels in the game. <clears throat> People are saying the game is just getting nerfed and Eve is dead. Can't tell if they're going for a meme or if they're serious. T3 seem like the in between between cruisers and battle cruisers. Yeah, it's pretty accurate. The lack of the 100 MN bonus is fucked. Okay, so right, some ships are not going to have an afterburner uh, bonus um, the way they used to. So yeah, no 100 MN bonus. That could definitely hurt it. Definitely hurt it. And yeah, that's it. All right. Wow. Holy shit. All right. I think I'm going to call this stream, everyone. Um, wow. To all the people watching, I guess I, I don't believe I had 70 people watching before. Um, so that's a lot, especially when you consider that we've just been crunching numbers. We haven't even shot a goddamn thing because um, we're on the test server. So I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in. Look at this. Be can, can you just appreciate how beautiful this is? Just look at this. Hold on. I'm going to move my mouse for a second. Just look at this for a second. God damn. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Everyone on Wingspan, TT, uh, Chance Ravine, Endgame, CEO Wingspan Delivery Services, I'd like to thank you for joining my stream today, and I hope to see you next time. Cheers.